Hello again folks and welcome to another dark journey into the ancient secrets of classic doom. Uh, if you've been watching the series so far you have surely noticed that I use various different versions of vanilla doom and the reason I'm able to do that is thanks to a little thing called the patch. You see, Doom was id Software's first game to actually use patches for updating. Like, for example, the Commander Keens or Wolf 3D didn't have such patches. So every time a new version was released, you'd basically have to order the game again, get it on discs, then install it from those discs you couldn't just directly update your older version so doom was definitely a big step forward in this regard back in the 90s its software made a number of upgrade patches and in later years various members of the doom community also created downgrade patches for people who would like to experiment with other versions of Doom. Like for example there is a downgrade patch that turns the ultimate Doom into 1.1. Now these patches were mostly a beneficial thing, you know, they would give us bug fixes or improvements to the engine and other stuff that's generally good. In some cases, however, a patch could mess things up a little. And when this happened, of course, it would be found out, reported, and its software would fix it in the next version. Except in some cases, some things could slip through the cracks, and the effects of some mess-ups could remain in the game even to present day. And that's one thing that we'll be talking about today. A little defect in one of Doom 2's maps, which is actually the result of a patch gone wrong, and which was never really found out and fixed. It's actually a part of a bigger problem, and most of it was fixed, except that one small piece that was overlooked. Now, uh... I think those boxes running. We'll be going to Doom 2 1.9, which was the final version of Vanilla Doom 2. If you are playing Doom 2 nowadays, you are most likely using version 1.9 or one of its derivatives. And by derivatives, I mean like the iWatt from the Unity port or Xbox or Doom 3 BFG edition. They are modified Doom 2 watts, but they are modification of the original 1.9 iWatt. So, let's start this up. And we'll be going to a level that we're all familiar with. Oh, look at that, it's map 2. One of the earliest levels, a level that we've all played so many times. It's a relatively small and simple map, so what could possibly go wrong with it? Oh, let's go this way, follow this tunnel. Oh, look at this guy! What's wrong with him? He seems to be stuck in a wall. Gee, I wonder how that happened. Hello? You feeling okay there? Ooh. Yeah, he's not feeling okay, so I guess I'll just put him out of his misery. Yeah, look at that! The barrel! Oh, sorry about that. Will you please stop interrupting me? So this barrel is also partially stuck inside the wall. Curious, isn't it? Were they always stuck in the wall? And if they weren't, how did that happen? How did this guy get like this? Well, if you've noticed uh, 
the thumbnail for this video you probably have some idea what happened because I actually mentioned a version number in it but before we get into this let's actually check uh, an older version of Doom 2 and see if this guy is also stuck in the wall there so when I say older version, I meant that we'll go back to the very beginning, the original release of Doom 2, which was 1.666. And while we're here, by the way, let me show you something that some of you may remember, but some of you don't. This thing. <laughs> remember this thing? In the very first release of Doom 2 there was this barrier here and to open it you just had to activate it like a door <laughs> like this but it was quickly removed in the next uh, release of Doom 2 because it was supposedly confusing to some players and that's why the only way to see and experience this thing is if you have the original Triple Six release Anyway, that's not why we're here. Let's check up on that sergeant. Okay, is he going to be stuck in the wall now? Ooh! He wasn't! He wasn't stuck in the wall! And check this out, the barrel is also not stuck. So clearly something went wrong between versions and like I mentioned above the thumbnail pretty much reveals it. It was 1.8. So what is this 1.8 I keep mentioning? To better understand the significance of patch 1.8 I will make a slight digression and give you something like a quick history lesson. Here we see the summarized version history of Doom 1 and 2. And if you look to the left, you can see there is a pretty obvious gap in Doom 1's history. It makes a jump from 666 directly to 1.8. And that's because only Doom 2 received a 1.7 update. The reason for this was that Doom 2 had just been released, so in the several weeks after its release it got all of its software's attention at the expense of Doom 1. So patch 1.7 included a lot of important bug fixes, including one for a crash that happened when using custom music. And I actually remember some custom watts with which I experienced this crash, like for example Memento Mori 2. In one of the levels it would crash like uh, 5 to 10 seconds after starting, which was pretty unpleasant. And the only way to avoid this problem was to play the megawatt without its custom music, which of course is detrimental to the whole experience. And the problem was fixed in Doom 2, but still remained in Doom 1. Of course, they didn't forget about it, they just postponed it a little. And eventually Doom 1 got an update, 1.8, which, <laughs> by the way, was originally described as being the final <laughs> update, but it wasn't, obviously. And so it became a pretty important and beneficial update. For Doom 2, however, 1.8 was a minor update, which is why they decided to make one very peculiar change to map 1 and map 2. What they did was that they moved the two maps. What do I mean when I say moved? When I say moved, I refer to the fact that Doom maps are built on a grid. It has a horizontal axis and a vertical axis. And the point where they intersect is the zero zero coordinate. And no other coordinates on this grid are relative to the two axes. 
So map one and two were like imagine grabbed and shifted across the grid to bring them closer to the zero zero coordinate. Why they did this? Uh, I don't know exactly, but my personal theory is that they did it to reduce memory usage maybe. Those of you who have played those games probably remember that memory management could be a bit of a pain in the behind <laughs> in MS-DOS. And this shift had some side effects. Most notably floor and ceiling textures in both maps were misaligned, sometimes uh, barely noticeable, other times quite obviously. Some items were also moved slightly out of position. And in map 2, most notably, some enemies got stuck in walls, like our old friend Sergeant Wally. So now we are getting a pretty good idea what happened. Well, let's take a look at the actual thing. Okay, so now I will start up Doom 2 1.8 and you can see with your own eyes all the mess that was caused by this update. And as soon as we start the first level, well, let me just grab this. Well, this floor texture isn't really indicative. But if you look at this ceiling texture, uh, you can probably see how it's not quite aligned as it should be. Do you see how the lights intersect with the wall in a really awkward way? Yeah, that's one of the consequences of patch 1.8. Also, uh, here we can see some more obvious effects. Let me just get rid of these guys. Notice something about these platforms? Yeah, the floor texture is quite obviously misaligned here. And it looks awkward. Also, the steam pack is a little bit to the right. It should be in the center of this little secret room, but it's slightly to the right. Well, these are, of course, small problems. Nothing to worry about. Map 2 is where stuff gets <laughs> really messed up. Okay, I've cleaned up the map a little so that... Uh, we wouldn't waste time killing all the enemies. Of course, this barrier that I showed you earlier is missing now. It was removed. Now, let's take a quick tour across the map. Oh, hello there. And that's our first sergeant who is stuck in a wall. Wait, I'll just... Uh, I'll turn the lights on. Yeah. He's completely helpless. Better put him out of his misery. And if we go here into the super shotgun room, we've got not one, but two stuck guys in the wall. And if you look at the ceiling, you can see this texture with the lamps is also out of alignment. Oh dear. Not looking very good so far. Then we come here and... Oh, hello there. Another stuck guy. And then we go to the secret teleporter and another stuck guy. And look at this teleporter. Both its floor and ceiling are messed up. Should be pretty obvious. And then of course is our old friend Sergeant Wally. And yes, he is stuck now. And now we know for sure that... He got into his predicament because of patch 1.8. The next update, 1.9, fixed all of these stuck enemies except this guy. He was forgotten, overlooked, or whatever, and so he remains stuck in the wall to this very present day. Well, it's a little sad <laughs> if you think about it. <sighs> How did this whole thing happen? I suppose that its software didn't properly playtest 
the first two levels after making such a major change to them. They probably didn't realize that the map editor they used at the time wasn't very accurate and so moving an entire map together with all the objects in it could cause some errors in placement. At any rate, now you know. So if you have other friends who play Doom, you can impress them with your knowledge. You know, you can tell them, hey, do you know why this guy is stuck in a wall? I do. Well, thanks for watching and hope to see you next time. That's all for now and goodbye.